1995, childless couples petitioned the Israeli government to help them have children through surrogacy. The Supreme Court ruled that the government should allow surrogacy. 1996, the surrogacy law is passed along with a long list of restrictions, including restrictions on the age of the couple and the surrogate mother. The parents must be a heterosexual couple. The surrogate mother must be single and unmarried. The child must be of the same religion as the parent, and more. This list of restrictions rendered the use of surrogacy services in Israel almost impossible. 20 years after this law was passed, less than 500 children were born through surrogacy in Israel. For the sake of comparison, 4 million children were born in Israel at the same period of time. 1998. Advocate Erit Rosenblum founded the new family organization with the goal of enabling anyone to establish a family and be a parent. Two thousand and one, Advocate Rosenblum petitioned the Supreme Court on behalf of a single woman who was unable to give birth nor the ability to be pregnant. She wanted to use surrogacy services. Despite the court's sympathy for her personal pain, it ruled that until the law is amended, single Israeli women may not use surrogacy services. Needless to say, the law still hasn't been amended. 2004, advocate Irit Rosenblum announces that she has found the solution for childless Israeli couples in various countries around the world. That year, a male couple represented by her had a child through surrogacy legally in Canada. 2005, the Attorney General publishes new guidelines to prevent the automatic registration of children born abroad as Israeli citizens. Their ties to an Israeli parent must be proven by DNA testing. The legal process is slowed down, a victory for the Israeli Attorney General. The new family organization and advocate Yurit Rosenblum overcome the bureaucracy and enable the births of dozens of babies to happy couples through surrogacy in the U.S. A victory for Yurit Rosenblum and new family. 2009, India is identified as a possible location for surrogacy procedures for Israeli couples. The new family organization represents the first hundred couples who go to India for surrogacy procedures, thus becoming Israel's leader in surrogacy. There is a solution for childless couples. May 2009, a judge rules that an Israeli court has no authority to demand DNA testing in a foreign country. This decision delays the entry of a gay couple's twins into Israel in what is known as the Goldberg Affair. Advocate Rosenblum submitted an appeal to the court, which accepted her argument and issued a ruling that reopened the doors for all the other couples. A victory for Irit Rosenblum and new family. 2011, India closed its gates to surrogacy for unmarried same-sex couples for political reasons in order to stop foreign surrogacy. A victory for the Israeli Attorney General. 2013, Thailand became an option for surrogacy for Israelis. A victory for Irit Rosenblum and new family. 2014, Thailand closed its gates to surrogacy, probably as a result of a political spin among other reasons. A victory for the Israeli Attorney General. In the same year, Nepal opened its gates, but as a result of a tragic earthquake, Nepal closed its gates again. A victory for the Israeli Attorney General, another opportunity missed. 2014, the Israeli Minister of Health proposes amending the surrogacy law to include same-sex couples and single people. This legislation, which advocate Rosenblum managed to halt in its early stages, among other reasons because it requires necessary bureaucracy, it poses difficulties for same-sex couples. 
It's impractical since it involves four different government ministries and it violates the individual's right to choose is sent to a committee which will determine its fate. 2015. New family and a political lobby stopped the amendment which would have made all surrogacy impossible. A victory for Erit Rosenblum and new family.